Jack. Hi, I'm Mick Felter and this is my story. How and why did you start to play tennis and what do you remember about that day? Um, like how I started playing tennis. My father and my mother, they always like played tennis when I was small. So they, they went to the tennis courts and then um, I went there as well. Like I hit with the wall and that's how I started. Like I remember that how, how I started playing tennis. So that's, that's how I started actually because of my parents. <laughs> Oh, my strength yeah. when I was a okay. child. When I was yeah. a child? Yeah. Um, like from playing tennis, right? Yes. Okay. My strength, what was my strength? I, I think my forehand was also, always been my strength. So I think my, my forehand for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When do you start your professional career? Um, I mean, I started in 2014, 2015 with some futures like but not not every week like maybe six maybe six futures like in in a year but then when i made my first point in 2016 then i started playing more like 2017 i really started like playing professional so since 2017 i would say like four, four or five years now okay. i'm playing Do full you also play some itf juniors or not? um not that much like i didn't play like that much itf juniors because i was not not really like that good like in a junior so I started getting better when I was like 20 21 like I was not like the best junior there there was so that's why I started playing a little bit later more tournaments uh, what do you remember about your first ITP points <laughs> funny story um, <laughs> I was it was in my hometown in Austria where I live the and they had a future so I got wildcard and I mean, I was playing good, like I qualified before, like for some tournaments and then, um, yeah, I got wildcard and then first round I was like, I don't know, I was playing well, I was like 6-2, six, six, 4-1, I was up and then I was so nervous, like I was, it was ridiculous, I couldn't, I couldn't hit anymore, so I, I lost like the, the second set 6-4 after I was like 4-1 down, so then after that, um, I know it was like a close third set, like what two one two two three two three three four four and then five five and then six six and then we got to a final tie break and then i played really well in a tie break i think I, did, I was not nervous then anymore i think not as like in the second set so i was like i won the i think i won the tie break like seven three pretty easy like and then i remember i was like so happy i don't know <laughs> right yeah and uh which goals do you have uh, every time then you play a match? Which goals? Yeah. Of course you want to win, but like also you have to play like with the the good mindset. Like the I have to play my game, you know. Like I'm playing on, on clay. I try to play heavy with my forehand to the backhand from the other side. Do you prefer to play on clay? Depends. I mean, I play different on on hard court. Like I play faster. I go more to the net. Like and on clay, I'm. I try to spin more, like go heavy, like with my forehand. I'm lefty as well, so go to the back end. Of often, like I play against righties, so I go high to the back end on the right side. And then when I have a chance, I go, I move forward, of course. Yeah. What do you remember? This is the question about the, the final. So, yeah. what do you remember about your first ITF final with, uh, when you lose the final? Uh, when I lost, like. It was indoors, I think, in Oslo against uh, Russo Vody. He's now top 100, I think. I played final against him and it was like, I mean, he was better in the first set. I lost like 6-1 or I don't know, 6-2 maybe. And then second set, I was like, I broke him. I was 4-1 up. And then after that, he was playing better again. So I lost 6-4, like five games in a row. It was like pity, but I was playing well, I think, in the second set. But I mean, he was playing really good and he's still playing good. Okay, and when uh, when you won your first ITF final, is there something special that you have uh, in your mind? Um, yeah, I, I hit an ace on match point. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like I think it was seven. I don't know, remember it. It was like six four seven six or seven six seven six. It was really close match, like two and a half hours, like in two sets. Like I remember, I was playing. I could. I can only remember like the match point. Like I'm hit an ace. Like 
I was 6-4 up in the tiebreak and I hit an ace like white like on the line or something. And then, uh, yeah, that's what I remember from the final and I was like really happy after and that. Like, What do you remember about uh, that tournament? How did um, you play all I played, the tournament? I played really well, yeah, I played the tournament really well. Like it was on hard court, so, but slow hard court, like the, the bounce was really high. It was in, I think in Greece, like Heraklion. So the, we played on center court and it was a new court, so like so slow. And yeah, that's that's what I remember, yeah. Did you play also with the, a big player than you say before? Uh, let's talk about uh, some match with the big player. I think uh, two years ago I played in South Africa, like uh, Future and Challenger. I played against Musetti. I I won actually. I won against him like in three sets I think. But um, yeah that's what I this this is the only like big player now, like he's in top hundred, but otherwise I didn't play against like huge players as I would impress in you in the most uh, in the ATP tour. Which player? Which and player? What, and what? I mean like Djokovic, Nadal, they impress me, like they're so consistent like over the years, like they, they, I mean, they're so good. I don't know. They are so consistent. They never like drop down like the level. It's like every time it's like so high. They, I mean, they never drop their level. It's crazy. And that's so hard to see, like, so hard to do. Like, you know, Dominic team now, he's like coming back now and he's not, not finding it at all. And after, and when Djokovic or team or Federer comes back after like a huge uh, injury, they are straight there and like on the level, it's, like, crazy it's like another another planet you know and another human being is like crazy I think is uh, the most factor to become a professional tennis player I mean you, you want you want to be like you have to have discipline you know you have to you want to be to get better like you have to get better every day and never like never give up like that's a big fa big factor but also like you know do the right things like listen to your coach like what you have to do and focus on that like the whole practice it's not all about like in practice of course you want to win points in practice but you also need like to build your game like okay um, I tried it but it didn't go today but maybe tomorrow is getting better you know so I think you have to learn every day like never like never give up as well yeah. and uh, what do you think is the difference between uh, a good player and uh, one 500 ATP like a top 20 or top 100 player against ATP 500. I think it's like from the basic, like from the the hitting, it's no yeah. difference. Like it's the same, um, consi like same pace. Okay. But I think the consistency, like do it every day, like um, do it 100 times after each other. So like the the top players that are like so consistent, you know, like they don't make those mistakes. And then with top 500, like me, I'm up and down like I cannot be consistent like I, I want to I try to but it's not there yet but I, I'm, I'm I'm finding a way like to do that but it's I mean it's not easy you know like like some people only get one point some people get only two points you know it's I mean not everyone is built for this like it's really different yeah. uh, to do the uh, the same level yes. all the week, all week, all uh, around the world. Because yes, you have to to travel. Yeah, yeah. You, you change uh, balls. You change everything. Altitude. And you have to the, the same level. Yeah, and the same level. It's not easy. And I mean, you have to. I mean, there is like this some. The key yeah. I mean, there are some exceptions like Alcaraz or yeah. I mean Nadal. It's you cannot compare yourself with them because they are like like from another planet it's impossible to be like that but which, which do you think is the, the future tennis player number one i think alcaraz for sure number like now he's he's crazy i mean he has everything he has serve volley he has like good back and good forehand good drop shot good i mean good volleys as well he, i mean he doesn't he runs good like he can finish the ball i mean he has no weakness i think like it's crazy he's unbelievable this guy yeah, the level now is uh, it's more high. It's, it's um, more higher than like yeah. ten years ago, yeah. for sure. All also in the in the future, like the qualities, even the qualities is so strong. Sometimes I see matches, it's like ridiculous, like so good. But that's the way it is, and you cannot change it. And uh, which one is uh, your? What do you want to do in the future? I mean, I want to try. Your goals? 
I want to try like this year like get further in like some tournaments like play some challenges to to reach like good like maybe qualify for sure qualifying challenges and maybe win some rounds as well and then build from there like step by step and also for doubles like I want to get higher as well so you, you play also a few a few doubles no yeah a lot of Do doubles you have yeah. a one partner no or? not yet I mean it's not easy like on the two on the ITF tour it's not easy I mean if you're like in top 50 or something it's easy to get a f like full-time partner but it, on the future it's impossible almost and the last question is, uh, it's possible to live from tennis? No, I'm losing tennis. money. I have some good sponsors <laughs> and my yeah. parents as well, so I'm not living from tennis. I mean, last year I calculated how much I lost and how much I made. Like, I think I made like 31,000 euros and I lost like 50,000 or 51,000. So I lost 20,000 euros. Like, it's crazy really yeah it's so difficult so I mean but, I've, but I've, I have a sponsor and like my parents help me as well so that's I mean uh, if they wouldn't do that like I would I couldn't play tennis so I have to thank them as well but yeah, you also uh, have to play, uh, league matches a club match, yeah, club match. Yeah. actually in Germany here in Italy and then in Austria as well so okay. that's why I'm playing two months now club matches to like get some good money and then with the money I'll travel and like pay my coach as well. Okay, okay. that's it. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>